the thing to remember about experiencing emotion is this. Your soul is automatically built to experience emotion. So, if you're not experiencing emotion, it's not because you're not capable of experiencing it, because God created you to be capable of experiencing it. The issue is that you have created blocks to experiencing your emotion. So, rather than let's talking about how to feel, the truth is, you already know how to feel. You already know how to feel every emotion. At the soul level, that's the way you were created. When you were born, do you think that you turned off any emotion? No. You were a baby, you had no mental conception of any emotion, did you? And yet you felt every one of them, didn't you? So what the, pro what the problem become? The problem be has become how I block my emotion. So, really what we need to address in order to experience our emotion is all of our fears about why we don't want to experience our emotion. That's what we need to address. When you address all of those fears, as each fear falls away, a new emotion will pop its head up and you'll be able to feel it. So what are some of your fears about dealing with emotion? Change. People won't like me. People won't like me. Oh, you got lots. <laughs> You're writing all these out because these are really good. These are really good. Embarrassment. Everyone will um, know and see. Shame. Shame. Fear of shame. Feeling weak. Mm. Yeah. It's actually mm. vulnerable. Like a little bit too painful. I'll lose control. Yeah. Obviously. Yeah. I'm worthy. Mm. All right. Can you start seeing what's going on? The reason why we can't feel these emotions is because we've got all of these beliefs. And we think all of these beliefs are true. <coughs> and maybe at one point in our life they were true. And that's all the more reason for us to believe they're true. But the truth is none of those things are true from God's perspective. From God's perspective, all of these things are just fears about our feeling an underlying thing. So what, what are we afraid of here, really? Rejection. We're afraid of feeling the emotion of nobody wanting us. Aren't we? Mm -hmm. uh, if we believe people don't like, won't like me if I feel my emotion, then I'm actually afraid of feeling an underlying emotion. Can, can you see that? And the underlying emotion is people don't like me, I'm actually afraid that nobody will like me at all. There's a feel. So what do I feel right now? I feel like nobody likes me. And I'm not letting myself feel it. Like It's there within me, but I'm not letting myself feel it. So if I feel that, if I'm afraid of that, I need to feel that nobody likes me. I need to put myself in a place where I'm willing to feel that. If I'm afraid of that, where do I need to put myself? Into failure. Into failure. Be a failure. And feel that. Feel it like you're a failure. Everything that you're afraid of... How do I do that? Postpone that one. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Graham? Don't be afraid of dying. Rather than be frightened, just let go and say, okay, I'm going to die, die. Yeah. 
Let yourself feel like you're going to die. If you let yourself feel that you are dying, mm -hmm. right, and put yourself in a position, and usually when we have that emotion, there's usually something that happened in our childhood that caused us to feel like we'll die if we deal with an emotion. So usually there's been some abuse or there's been some very traumatic event like a car crash or a you know, lots of different events like that, that cause us to be so afraid after that point. Yeah. I had this one a lot. <laughs> it gets projected at me all the time. Look at this one. It's going to be never ending. A lot of these fears, remember what fears are? They are... So they're false expectations appearing real, right? Or you could say they're false emotions appearing real, or expectations, right? Like, how can I go insane if I'm feeling my causal emotions? Isn't it the truth, really, that the time I'm going to be insane is when I'm not feeling my causal emotions? <laughs> and how can, I, how can it be never-ending? Isn't it the truth, really, that I'm, a, I'm obviously a finite being? Only God's infinite. Right? So therefore, my emotion must be finite. Doesn't that make sense? Embarrassment. What's that about? <coughs> yeah. Making a fool of yourself. So I believe I'm a fool. Right? In my heart I believe I'm a fool and I'm trying to constantly prove to myself otherwise. So if you block these things, how do you feel mm -hmm. if I'm physically put myself in the situation of feeling? Well that's what the law of attraction is there for, to put you in the situation of feeling. <laughs> the truth is that every single day, if you're like if you have this feeling within you of failure, You'll be finding already in your life you'll be attracting failure. The truth is that the law of attraction is already putting into your life absolutely everything to trigger this emotion right now. So, so this is why it's so important to look at the law of attraction. Because the law of attraction is there to tell you what you're not dealing with right now, right today, right this moment. 